Hey guys, this is Paula Rhodes, and this is my real voice. <laughs> okay, yeah, this isn't actually auto to the news. This is what's trending. And we have a little uh, bit of info for you today. T-Pain showed up on NPR's Tiny Desk Concerts to let you know that he can actually sing. Oh, in the bella. Oh. Talk to me. So, this latest episode of NPR's Tiny Desk series, which is an intimate concert series uh, done at Bob Boylan's desk, who, if you are not an NPR groupie, like I am, uh, is the host of All Things Considered. Check it out. Uh, it, it consisted of T-Pain coming to show off his skills, uh, which are actually really amazing, guys. So in case you were wondering, T-Pain discovered Auto-Tune while he was doing a, a Jennifer Lopez remix and adopted it as his style. And he's a little bit dismayed lately because people are saying, oh, you just Auto-Tune because you can't sing. He actually responded with, people felt like I was using it to sound good, but I was just using it to sound different. If you're my mom and you're wondering, who is T-Pain? What does he sing? Uh, you might recognize him from such songs as, just me saying this, guys. It's gonna be really funny. Buy you a drink, shoddy snappin'. Or up down, do this all day. Or drinkin' partner. Mom, what you're really gonna recognize him from is I'm on a boat. So there's a couple comments on this. Nady Nukes, who says, I know there's a lot of people that like to criticize this guy, but I've had a long standing respect for him as a producer, as an artist, and arguably as a vocal arranger. Well, of course, well, <laughs> Nady already knew that he was really, really good. Didn't the rest of you guys know that? I mean, where, where you guys been? Yeah, seriously, bros. Where have you been? Mass Pranks says, the piano has auto tune. Fool this again. Pain I see what you did there. Work. I see what you did there. So, question of the day, guys. Did you know T Pain could sing? Hmm? Do you prefer this new style of his, or revealed style, or do you like more the uh, the dreads and crazy hats version from early 2000s? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I am Paula Rhodes with What's Trending.